This is another in the series of these Harpoon 3 Professional uh, version 3.10 demonstrations. The situation is now we have F35As uh, versus the same uh, flankers. They are operating um, at um, 12,000 metres and the flankers, if we look at them, they're operating at a higher altitude as they can and they're up around, um, at this stage, they're at low altitude on the climb out, but they'll be operating up around about 17,000. So let's start the, um, the simulation. We can watch down here in the message box as the computer simulation works out its various contacts. Now we just have a look at the various items. It's takes a lot of computer power for these first few minutes and then it operates very well once it's got everything sorted now here we have the sentries here and here and we have a tanker a series of tankers just change the centre of the picture. So the tanker is on a patrol line waiting for the fighters to come out of the fight. The um, carrier battle group led by Nimitz is over in this area and um, Kadena um, is the home base of, the of these uh, of land-based fighters. Now you can see, just expand this and slow it down. You can see there's a fierce air battle raging here. Let me just speed it up a bit. So it's now five times real time. So again, the flashes will be missiles hitting. Zoom out a bit so that we get an overall bit picture. Here's the centre of view. Lots of activity in uh, assessing the, uh, the situation in the message board. Once again, the simulation, if we look at the game status, it's been running for about 15 minutes in real time. A lot of missiles being fired, a lot of aircraft being lost. Short and deadly air combat. If we just keep our eye on one of these tankers over here. Sooner or later that'll attract a missile. Here's one coming in here. Yes, and that tanker was lost. So many of these aircraft, the F-35s, they're returning to base. So when they're out of fuel, they leave the fight. Or if they're out of ammunition, they leave the fight. Swim out a bit. Again. Even though the game can be sped up or slowed down, it doesn't change the resolution. The uh, computer uh, calculates the same, it just spends a lot of time in the background doing it. Okay, I think uh, that's pretty much fight over. Everybody's going home. And you see here's one going, the flanker going home, and the F-35s also returning to base. So if we pause, and have a look at the results. In this case, two sentries and four tankers, and 22 of the 24 F-35s were lost, and 10 um, C-35 uh, flankers were lost. So the Raptors versus the Flankers, the Raptors enjoyed a 2 to 1 loss exchange rate advantage. In this particular simulation, the um, situation is reversed and the Flankers have got a 2 to 1 loss exchange rate advantage over the um, JSFs.
in this case the F35A. That's the completion of this simulation run.